All right, we're here today to fire up this old 59 uh, Oldsmobile. Sean has been abusing this thing. It sat for probably better than a year. And she hasn't been driving it much, so we had to wash the inch of dust off it. I see we missed a few spots here, but we're gonna get it going. Yep. So, and just to give you a little bit of backstory, one day I was driving this thing, and I start hearing this tapping. Sounds like an exhaust leak, or so I thought. So, um, that's pretty much why it's been parked here. So we're gonna dig in here and see what we can figure out. So that way I can show this thing some love and drive it around some more. You ready? Yep. I'm gonna tighten up the ground cable. We've had it loosened up. Let's see if we got any charge in the battery first. So go ahead and hit the key. I got my jump pack handy. Nothing. Totally dead. Okay. And then have to pump the gas more than that too. Yeah, let's see if the old jump pack will fire it off. Try it now. Nothing. Flip on your headlights. They work. They work? Yep. Okay. No okay. fly. It's like the ignition just stuck. Is it the right key? Yeah. It's that one. Okay. <laughs> I mean... Hmm. It does help when you use the right key. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Alright. we got to use the battery charger. So now he's gonna throw this on the battery charger and hopefully that'll give us the boost we need. So this is a 250 amp start Ready? Assist here, so let's see if this will crank it over. Go ahead. Nope. Let's charge up for a second. All right. Ready? Yeah. Oh, you gotta pump the gas. You gotta pump the gas. Oh, I thought you were gonna get that for me. <laughs> All right. All right. Ready? Yep.
not too bad. It did fire off pretty easy. Battery was just good and dead. So you can hear in the motor we got a little valve train noise. But I don't think it's anything to worry about. These old old motors have non-adjustable valve train. So I don't know that we're gonna be able to do much with it. Yes, did you flip on the air ride so it can air up and see if it's gonna do its thing? So this car is all original except for the air ride that we installed. It does have uh, air lift, height and pressure uh, system on it. Check the system. So we actually have this um, on a kill switch so we can kill power to the air ride system all together. And then sometimes after sitting for a while, it doesn't just automatically air up. Yeah, it's got air in it, so it should raise right up. All right, so <laughs> we're having a little trouble with this thing here in the beginning. This is old generator type system. Sean will pan over the engine and the interior and stuff as we uh, get into this. But this thing is totally dead from not being run for quite a while. We did have a shut off on the negative side of the battery but it, it went dead anyway it's got a 19 battery in it it's probably time for a new one but the reason why it didn't lift all the way on its own is because the voltage in the battery was too low for the airlift system to, to operate so as you can see now it's raising up compressors are on um, and we're making some progress anything you need to add Shauna well, I will say, after its nice long slumber, it does sound like it's running better, as if that kind of fixed the problem. She did bring this home one day, and I mean, it was it was making quite a bit of noise, the engine. Uh, I assumed it was the lifters tapping and going crazy. These older motors are kind of known for that. Uh, but right now, it's uh, purring like a kitten, but it is old and tired. Uh, one of these days we have to figure out what we want to do as far as engine and transmission if she wants to keep the 394 in it and, uh, and the trans that's in it or if we're going to uh, do some different swap for it. Uh, but for now it's a cool old cruiser. Um, I don't know, share whatever you want about it. Should do a walk around and hopefully we'll take you for a ride down the road in it. Yeah, yeah and he, he's thinking he wants to do an LS swap on it. So, I don't know, what are your thoughts? Yep, a lot of people don't like those, but at the cost of, of redoing an original 394 engine and transmission, um, an LS swap is very economical. Um, makes these things, you can drive them anywhere. If you guys follow us uh, or have followed us, you know, uh, the old Cadillac we got has been to the Pacific Ocean and back in right around 12 days, and we stopped everywhere in between. Uh, yeah. Zero issues except for tires. And, and, and we've even towed the Corvette behind it, what, like 17 hours all the way up to Oklahoma for the yeah, Starboard so, Car Show, too. So. Yep, we went on a thousand mile each way road trip to the Starboard Car Shows, and I flat towed the, the Corvette on an open trailer with it. Uh, there's some videos out there floating around with that. So, yeah. As much as you want to hate an LS swap, they work. <laughs> so, we're going to let this battery charge up yeah. for a few minutes. We're going to see if this thing goes into gear again uh, after sitting for so long and we'll take you for a ride down the road. So this is what's under the hood. I don't know if you guys can see that. We've got a little smoke coming out of here. Tired old motor. Yep. But I like her. 
could use some AC too. All right, so as you can see, we've got this nice white interior, black and gray detailing, super nice. So when I got it, it actually came this way and we haven't done anything with it since, but just enjoy it. All right, so Rob was like, let me see if I can throw this thing into gear. And he goes and puts his foot on the brake, goes to put it in gear and there's no brakes, they're done. And we check the master cylinder up here and there's absolutely not one drop of fluid. So the brake's spongy. It's got none. Huh? None. No brakes. So do you think all the fluid just leaked out? Uh, there's something. Something's not right. The brake fluid just doesn't leak out. Could have a bad wheel cylinder or the master cylinder. Something. We'll have to get it uh out of its resting spot here and see if we can figure it out. So I'm in here pumping the brakes and so far nothing's happening. Okay, stop. Are they coming back any? Nope. Alright. We got uh it appears the master cylinder has uh, decided to give up. So I don't think we'll be taking it for a test drive tonight. So as you guys seen, we fired this thing up. It's been sitting a while. Never good to leave cars sit. So one of the things that we have, the, the first thing that was wrong is, is our battery appears to be totally trash. Uh, won't even hold a charge. Um, we've been charging it the whole time. We've been on the on the video here and went to start it back up after she shut it off. It was completely dead. Uh, the master cylinder is definitely not pumping fluid. Um, we just washed it before we, we got on camera, so unfortunately we can't look underneath to see if anything's wet for any brake fluid or any leaks. But we'll let this dry out. We'll come back out here tomorrow. We'll see what we can find and report and then see what we need to do to fix this thing up, so. Yeah, and so it seems to have healed itself of the one problem while it sat. There's no more tapping or whatever that sound was that I was hearing. Um, however, it did acquire several more problems, so. You know what they say, if it's got bleep or tires, it's going to give you problems. Is that right? <laughs> I guess. <laughs>